tonight we're going to have a very important historical uh, theme, which is the wives of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And wives, because, uh, mashallah, he was married to more than one. Um, how about we could start with Sidna Khadija, because, you know, she was the first wife of the Prophet yes. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And, of, mashallah, her history is rich, and her role in, you know, conveying Islam and being the first one. Well, uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen, wa salatu wa salamu ala ashraf al-anbiya al-mursaleen, Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'een, wa min tabi'ahum bi ahsan la yawm al-deen, all praise due to Allah, one God whom we seek his help, we seek his forgiveness and mercy, blessings be our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Now talking about the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, let's check number one, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us about Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Uh, Quran is, is uh, you will find many verses in Quran talks about Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his uh, character and his mercy and his love and everything. But there's very important ayah that I would like to quote and, and mention it today that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنًا Indeed in the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, peace be upon him, there is the best example. So, so in, in this part I say that you know we have to follow the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and this is part of our belief that we have to follow the Prophet peace be upon him in his daily life, what he used to do, how he used to deal with his wife, how he used to deal with his friend, how he used to deal with his companion, his children, neighbors, everything. Because there is no better example. Exactly. So because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a clear cut, Allah said, he is the best example, you know. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also said in, in, the, in the Quran that, you know, if you love Allah, follow Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, Allah will love you. So the, the, the connection of love with Allah is attached with Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So you want the love from Allah to come down to you, you have to follow Prophet Muhammad, peace be yeah. upon him. So he is the best example in everything, in, in his life, in his social life, in his uh, business life, in his uh, prophecy and everything. So we have to take from it. Mm -hmm. Coming to the main topic which is Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his marriage to Sayyidah Khadija. Yeah. Uh, may Allah be pleased with her. Now we know that he was at the age of 24, 25 when uh, he he used to uh, deal with business and he used to go with uh, you know uh, with business tra traders actually to sham uh, sorry uh, to, uh, from from uh, one place to another place uh, in fact prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam never left uh, mecca and medina in his whole life so in his whole life he was only in mecca and medina but in the in, in so that area local, uh, state local. Yeah. so basically he used to uh, what i say travel to one city to another city uh, and then um, his honesty and everything everyone used to witness about the honesty of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that this he is before he was a prophet right? before he was a prophet so he, he was just a regular man in those days and exactly he was still known for his honesty exactly and honesty integrity. exactly mm -hmm. and he is a trustworthy person so this news reaches to the uh, or it's reached uh, to uh, sayyida khadija and she was also uh, a businesswoman mashallah with the wealth and everything so she said that okay i'm interested in him i will send a message of a proposal and i will see what will happen? Which was normal in the day. I mean, it was basically um, she could propose as a wealthy uh, businesswoman. She could propose to how to ask him exactly. In marriage. Exactly, and that till today it's fine in Islam if a lady propose or, or the family of, of of a lady go and propose a person or a family of so a that's person. That's a nice lesson to take from exactly, that. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Yes, uh, we we agree that uh, many people say, well, it's a shame. Uh, how we can approach since you know she's our daughter or she's our sister we cannot approach because you know but we look desperate uh, or exactly something. No, or, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. exactly yeah. this is not the case Islam is very open it's, it's very clear that if you if you would like to marry either from from the uh, lady side or from the men's side anyone can approach one another there's, there's no problem in it okay. and the best example as I said say the uh, Khadija she is the one who's approaching Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam mm -hmm. and uh, the re, uh, the news uh, reaches to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he said uh, after after some time he he agreed upon it right. and uh, he got married to say the Khadija and just to let you know that uh, say the Khadija she was at that time she was uh, you can say uh, she already got married before Right. You know, right. so, so she was a divorcee was, or a widow? Uh, she was a widow, I believe. She was a widow. Right. Yes, and, and with one son. Mm -hmm. You know, with one son. Uh, so she, she is old, 
and and uh, not that old, but she is Fif old. Fifteen uh, years his senior. Uh, uh, I think yes, something, uh, something exactly. Like some similar something like that. But mm -hmm. w what the the main thing is, the Prophet ﷺ didn't say anything. Didn't uh, pinpoint that oh she is like this or she is like that or right. what what will I do with the son or the daughter? So he whatsoever. didn't have any doubts about the age. He didn't say oh no. It's nothing. Not, nothing. Not this is this is how Islam simple is. Uh, like you know, it, this is we even don't prior to Islam. It just gives his character. It's mashallah. It shows his character. He was decent. Subhanallah. He was so true. So true. And so this is before the Islam. Who was his first? first wife and we just uh, said that she was older than he was and she was widowed with the son yes. so subhanallah that did not keep the prophet sallallahu from considering her marriage proposal yes that's true and uh, then uh, the marriage happened and alhamdulillah they used to live happily as as a couple a husband and wife everything is going fine and until he reaches 40 so 15 years approximately of exactly. marriage Yes. So, so you can imagine, like all this time, the Prophet is, is you know, uh, being with his wife, like any other person is living with his wife and uh, and dealing with the wife on on daily basis, and until we know the the famous story of the revelation and receiving the revelation from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala through the angel Jibril or Gabriel. Mm -hmm. uh, this is what will happen. Uh, this is what happened actually when the Prophet used to be uh, meditate. He used to go in, in you know in the night, uh, climb the mountain and this sit. Even before he was a prophet, right? Before the as prophet. A, as a character trait, as, as one of his habits, he used to go meditate. Exactly. And, and I would like to give this message to everyone, you know, who's, who's watching us that, you know, this is very important that you have to give time to yourself to think about the creation, to look at the to star. Reflect exactly. The, uh, beside what, what, whatever, you know, your religion is, you know, at the end, you have to think about the creator. Because these stars, these galaxies, the sky and rainbow and uh, cloud and everything that we see, uh, certainly there's a creator for, for all these things. So he used to go in the night and climb a mountain and go all top of the mountain and look at the stars, look at these uh, galaxies and everything. And he used to meditate, uh, ta'amul uh, in, in Arabic. Mm -hmm. So at uh, tafakkur, ta'amul. To reflect. Exactly, to, yeah, exactly, right, exactly yeah. looking into all these yeah. things and, and uh, remembering that there is a creator. Above everything, there is a creator. But of course, he does not know anything because he grew up in, in, a, in a society, in a place, in an environment that people are worshipping idols, they are bowing down to the idols, they are prostrating to the idols, they are sacrificing their animals to in front of their idols. At that time, he knows that everything is going around me is wrong. But at the same time, he knows that there is a bigger creator than, than these idols, you know, made of uh, wood, made of uh, dates or right. whatsoever. Right, right. So, so... Uh, so I have that instinct, that instinctive feeling that there exactly. is one creator. He had that True. knowledge, actually. True. That and true. this is, uh, we call it in Arabic, fitrah. Yeah. And fitrah, believe me, there is no translation, no word can, can translate the word fitrah. That's come from inside, you know. Yeah. So, and believe me, uh, no matter what person's belief till today, you know, if he believes or he, if he does not believe in a creator, that fitra inside is giving this person indicator that there is a creator but if he does not want to show if he does not want to say if he is denying that it's up to him I or her I completely lived that so I, I, I so know what you're talking about because mm. I grew up in an atheist family okay. around atheists uh, not much exposure to any religion and I prayed on my own when I was 10 it was just God wow. it was just no, no doubt True. no question exactly so this is my message to everyone that yeah. you know think about the creator and creator will guide you for sure yeah. so this is what will happen the creator was uh, he used to uh, reflect and think upon the creator and one day god almighty decided to send a revelation and take him or choose him as a prophet so so the angel gabriel came and we know this famous story and he came and he said iqra so he first of all he was he was afraid that out of sudden someone is coming inside the cave because he used to sit in one of the caves. Imagine you're so all alone there's up no, in the exactly, and, and no, <laughs> no, uh, he didn't hear anyone coming in or something because you have to climb, you have to come. Oh, so he didn't hear the footsteps, he didn't hear anything, he didn't nothing. Out of nowhere, one person is just coming in, and then he said, "Iqra, read," and he does not know what to say. So he said, "Ma'ana biqara," you know, I'm Ill illiterate, I, I cannot read. So he is saying that this person hugged me and squeezed me. And he said, read. And he said, I cannot read. The third time, read. You know, and, and then he said, I cannot read. And then the, the angel Gabriel said, you know, the whole ayah, Iqra bismi rabbika alladhi khalaq. So now he is completely afraid. Someone just came out of nowhere, started squeezing him and telling him, read or recite, or recite, or recite. Even if that was a person, it would be spooky, you know. Exactly. Yeah. And then the Prophet, peace be upon him, when he saw this man is leaving the cave, 
the Prophet went to see who is this person. Mm -hmm. So the narration says that he saw the angel Gabriel in his actual form. And he was, his one wing was completely, com you know, covering the whole, uh, what you call it? Uh, the horizon. The horizon, you know, one wing only. And the other hadith says that the uh, Jibreel have 600 wings. So imagine one wing was just covering the whole sky. So when he saw that, he was completely, you know, kind of in a shock. Of course. He was shivering. Yeah. He went to the home shivering. He was running, you know, and mm -hmm. once he reached home, uh, he opened the door and he's shivering and he's, he starts saying, Zammiluni, Zammiluni, means cover me, cover me. He's so shivering. So the, you know, the wife uh, of Prophet uh, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Khadija, she took a blanket and she covered him. She said, sit, calm down, what's wrong? He said, well, one, two, three happened with me. And you know what I think is awesome, is what we can take from this lesson that, that once was mm -hmm. um, explained to me, was that the Prophet Sallallahu did not so, so. go to the duania, <laughs> like the brothers nowadays, you know, yeah. they run to, the, to tell the other brothers and hey guys, this mm. is what I heard. He went to his wife. Yes. So she was really the true companion, the true, true. soulmate that, true. you know, he's sharing. The first person he's deciding to yeah. share it with is his wife, not the guys. Like, so so true. And, and thank you for reminding me. I would like to, you know, talk to the you know, brothers and, and everyone that make the environment at home as, as you know, you're living with your com you know, companion. Your it's a company, yes, you know, so she is not only just do this and do that and cook this and cook that, it's, it's not like that. What the Prophet Sallallahu did, he went to home. Uh, he had a lot of friends, he's, he's, uh, he's known into, into his society and everything, but he knows that, you know, my, confer, my comfort is in my wife. So he went to the home and he spoke to his wife. So thank you for remind, uh, uh, reminding me of this. Sure. And Look now the character, uh, the, 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 the characteristics of, of a wife, how she reacted responded. and then responded. Now, first of all, she didn't say, what's happening with you? Why are you insane? Why are you shivering? Are you you know, the, nothing. This is usually what happened nowadays, you know, right. that once you come, you're tired and there's a lot of questions going on. Yeah, what happened and why you're tired and why you're not? You can just imagine why you're not talking to us, why you're so quiet and just leave him for some time. Give him a glass of water. Just yep. try to be. And she just did what he asked her true, to do, cover true, me. True, true, true. So inshallah, we be. The Prophet Sallam, after first getting his first revelation, he went to Khadija and he was shivering and he asked her to cover him. And so her reaction was immediately to do as he requested, like you would usually do for a good friend. Exactly. Right? She didn't go nag him, why are you late? Why are you this? You know, or, or tell him, oh, you forgot to do this and this and these chores. She actually just she saw him in need and she took exactly, something Exactly, yeah. she, she didn't ask him that, did you bring from the supermarket what I told you? Or yeah, exactly. No, all these she questions. She just read you know? immediately, it's his exactly. comfort. Exactly, and this is another message I would it's like raha, to give. You know? Yes, Raha, I would like to give this message to the sisters this time. That yes, we would like to live happily in the, in the house. We would like to live together in, with love and mercy. So please, you know, sometimes your question is like, you know, poking your own husband, you know. Yes, I'm not saying don't ask him and, and don't, don't just, you know, question him, but in, 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 in different ways, wise you know. Wise times. Exactly, wise times. Give time. him raha first when he exactly. comes home. Exactly. You know, he's been out in the world, he's been out in, you know. So true. Fighting the battles outside <laughs> and then coming home, so just true. some raha. And then afterwards, when the time is right, you know, if husband and wife both, you know, subhanAllah, it's always a matter of finding the right time. So true. So you yeah. can just later on, after giving him a glass of water or something like that, uh, and ask how what's your day wrong is, exactly? Yeah, okay, and yeah. With the good words, uh, basically, yes. what's wrong, honey? What, what's, uh, you know, are, do you need anything? Exactly. Do you want any help or something like that? Exactly. So this is what exactly happened. She said, okay, what's wrong? And then he started giving, him, uh, giving her everything from A to Z that someone came and this has happened with me and he squeezed me and what happened now here another lesson that she didn't say no no it's a nightmare it's a ghost is this and that she just acted very wisely very wisely what she said that don't worry you're a good man nothing will happen to you you take care of the orphans you give food to the needy you give money to the poor you are the best among all these people Mashallah. then the Creator will never ever, you know, let you go down or, or break you into any other thing. So she gave him that strength, that That's self confidence. Strength. So so true, so true. And this is this is also a lesson to the sisters again, that if your husband is discussing with you anything, suggestions, I would like to do a business, I would like to do this, uh, I'm planning to send my son or our son or our daughter to 
just don't try to just don't say no. <laughs> I want to do this. Don't I want to do that. Down the ideas so true. Right away. So true. Exactly. Because this is this is you know we come across when we when we deal with the with the couples and when you know uh, counseling you know the marriage counseling most of the time it's either wife is cutting a lot of times you know her, her husband yeah. if husband says right she said left if husband says left <laughs> just because you know he's saying that and just because uh, no they are zoj in arabic zoj means something pair. yeah pair exactly they have to be you know a same like one shoe can't work with the other you know you exactly. don't want just one shoe you were both like exactly. a zoj like pair a so, pair so of true. exactly zoj so this yes. is this is the meaning of it so this is not you know a, a competition uh, uh, you know contract or, or marriage that okay if i say something you have to say something else it, does, it doesn't work like that. So another example, a beautiful example of uh, Sayyida Khadija, that she said, no, it, God will never break you down. And then she took him to Waraqa bin uh, Nawfil and her brother. And he used to be uh, a Christian and he had some, some pieces of the Old Testament, Torah. And he used to write, you know, uh, uh, from it. So she took him, uh, beside like, you know, another, another point of view that, you know, give First of all, supporting uh, husband yeah. in his ideas. Whatever comes later on, these uh, pitfalls and, and uh, disadvantage of, of that thing, that, that we can talk later about yeah, it, you know. Exactly. But the whole idea, I agree with you. For I, example, I'm supporting you. I'm, I'm supporting I'm you. Rock, I'm with you. I back you up. Exactly. This is what happened. Whatever happens, I'm your rock. Not Whatever only that, she took her. Means like she, she, she went. Yeah, yeah, she, she, uh, she uh, sorry, she took him. She yes. took him all the way to Waraqa, you know, her brother. And she said, well, this is what will happen with my husband. One, two, three, four. And immediately he knew that he is the chosen one. Because he, he knew all the older scriptures. So he knew right. that, okay, he is a prophet. He will be the, the current prophet. So he said, if what you're saying is true, and if you are the prophet, then your people will, will give you tough time. They will kick you out of Mecca as well. So you have to be patient. So he knew the scriptures. So he knew the but scriptures. But look at Khadija's wisdom, subhanAllah, yeah. who she took him to. Exactly. You know, and not only that, that the Prophet actually listened to Khadija. He could have said, nah, well, you know, no, mm. no, no, I'm going to handle this on my so own. True. But he was, it wasn't beneath him to, to also take his wife's suggestion to take him. Exactly. To ibn and this, Jazakallah khair, reminded me also mm. for the message for the brothers. Yeah. Now, don't always say that you are the man and you are the you know, most wise and the old wisdom is with you and not with the other people. Because, as I said, mm. you are Zoj. You want to build the house and carry on with it, right? You know, you yeah. go on with, with this. So he didn't say, well, no, in this... In I'm this, not going to uh, consult another man. How exactly. dare you tell me I should go to another man? I can handle this situation exactly. on my own. <laughs> Whatsoever. And he this said, is you know, a usual why thing, I have to right? listen to you, for example, right. in the first place? I have to go to my friend, the yeah. closest friend, Abu Bakr, for example, or any other companion. Right. They can advise me better, you know? Yes. So he didn't say anything. He said, okay, I agree with That's you and right, I will go yeah. with you. So this is how show that, you know, how the love is there. And there's no harm by going there. And if the result was nothing, you know, no, they can come back. Long, no problem. Long, nothing so, so nothing to, nothing to uh, lose. Yeah. So this is what happened at, at that time. And uh, you can now imagine the wisdom behind, uh, you know, Khadija and how wise person uh, she was. And the Prophet ﷺ, how he used to support her and consult with her in many things. Um, I just give you one, you know, incident of, of uh, Khadija. Khadija and was she supporting. she was the first Muslim this actually exactly. who converted exactly. right after yes. the Prophet ﷺ got his message. So yes, her, her status uh, or rank is, is on the top. She's the first woman uh, who accepted Islam. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said in another hadith that only four women completed their deen. And he said, uh, Maryam, you know, bint uh, Imran, uh, the, yes, mother the mother of, uh, of uh, mother of Jesus, or Isa alayhi salam, and then Khadija. You know, so Khadija is one of the women who completed their deen. You know, yes. uh, in a way that they are the complete uh, woman. You know, in, in their mind, in their behavior, and yeah. everything. There's nothing wrong in, in them. Subhanallah, yes. what an honor, mashallah. Alhamdulillah. Mashallah, mashallah. Mm -hmm. So, how did their marriage go on from then? I mean, how long were they married? What time did she pass away? Were they, was she the only wife, for example, in the, in the time that she was married to the Prophet? Yes, Jazakallah this is a very important question. Now, uh, once we will talk about the other wives of the Prophet, uh, maybe a person will ask, maybe now he will ask in his mind, you know, the, the question will pop up. Uh, and, and this is, you know, the fact. People will, will you know, spread this kind of things that Prophet uh, married to many, you know, wives. 
So, uh, so the Prophet's uh, main aim is to just to get married, just to have wives, just to have yeah. fun with them yeah. and whatsoever, yeah. you yeah. know. Worldly reasons. Exactly. Yeah. Now, we will come to know in, uh, in, in future or in the coming episodes, but now I would just like to say that he got married at the age of what, if you can tell me? 25. Yeah. 25. Yeah. Okay. At the age of 25. When he received the revelation at the age of? I mentioned 40, that. 40, 41. Yeah. Okay. At that period of time, my question is to you. So this he is a man in his prime. Exactly. Did he? So did he if, if it was for desire purposes, that definitely would have been negating that he only had that exactly. one. Exactly. So Jazak much. Khair. Thank you for being with us tonight and for Thank your you. time and your interesting stories that you shared with us, inshallah. And we're going to welcome you in following episodes. Inshallah. Hopefully. Inshallah. Khair. Thank you very much for being with us tonight, dear viewers. We hope you were able to take something interesting from the story of. Khadija radiallahu anha and how her relationship was with the Prophet sallallahu and how she had a very special place in his heart. We hope you will have a wonderful evening inshallah. Enjoy your taraweeh prayers and we will see you in the next episode. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa